Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. This is way after the Super Bowl. It was a busy week for me. I am hungry. I don't want no more barbecue ribs, hot dogs, nachos. I want something my mama would eat. I just want some regular pinto beans with some uh, salt joe bacon in there and some little celery and onions. That's all I did. I find me some cornbread and I usually keep it in my freezer. But the only thing I'm gonna do differently, I'm gonna put it in my Instant Pot. Y'all know I love cooking beans in the Instant Pot because you can just set it in here, set it, go do what you gotta do. You don't gotta worry about it burning, scorching, adding more water. It's just like flawless. So yeah, anyway, got some red beans here. I'm put them in, not red beans. I keep saying red beans. Pinto beans. Regular pinto beans. Probably the cheapest bean you can buy. Got them in there. Where y'all up here? Regular old, uh, pinto beans. Got some onions there. Some celery. It's good eating, y'all. This is regular old country eating. Beans and cornbread, y'all. How many times I eat beans and cornbread growing up? And I got some pork jowls. Salt joe. Salt jowl, have you said. And I cut it in big chunks. And we're gonna add some water to this, y'all. I'm gonna put a little salt, not much, because the salt bacon already has salt in it. So I'm gonna put a little salt in there. Do like my mama had vinegar. She always had a little vinegar when she had pork. I think she breaks it down. I'm going to add a little chicken base in here, too, y'all. Hold on just a second. Just a second. You can put ham base. You can put beef. I wouldn't suggest beef. I like to put a little chicken base in mine. A little chicken base in there. So a little, a little bit more kick. Not, if I put the chicken base, I ain't going to put no salt in there. That's enough seasoning right there. A little white vinegar. I like a little vinegar in mine. A little bit more water. We want to fill it up with, not fill it up. We want a good enough water to cover the, to cover the, uh, the beans. I'm going to give this a little quick stir here. Make sure everything's fully incorporated in there. Everything cooks evenly. Water. That's it, y'all. We're going to set this thing on 90 minutes. 90 minutes on high setting. Put the lid on here, y'all. I'll do the bean setting. It's got a setting on there that say beans. We're going up 90 on this thing. We'll do an hour and a half. Let them cook really, really good, y'all. You really can do uh, 60 if you want to, but I'm gonna do 90 just to let it do its thing. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back about an hour and a half. Have us a big old pot of pinto beans and cornbread with some pork jowls in there. Don't get no better than that. We'll be right back. All right, we are back, y'all. I let this go about actually two hours. I let it slow release itself. So we are gonna open this up, y'all. And we're going to see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at them pinto beans, y'all. You see how tender they are? Oh, yeah. Let me get my ladle here. Look at that. That's perfect. Perfect. Perfectly cooked. Not overcooked. Made his own. See how that got that thickness in there? Own thickness. Oh my God, y'all. See that nice pork fat in there? That pork, salt joe. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. So I'm gonna step off here, y'all. Y'all already know the deal. I'm gonna step off here. Do that world famous YouTube thumbnail. We're gonna come back and we're gonna try these pinto beans and salt joe, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. Look at this here, y'all. Look at that bowl of beans there. Now, this country here. I was, I was raised on beans and cornbread, y'all. Beans and cornbread. A lot of nice. That's all we had. And a little side meat in there like that. 
Let's go in here, y'all. Like I told y'all, I ain't have to add no, I had a perfect amount of liquid in the instant pot. You put just enough liquid to cover the beans because the liquid is not going to evaporate because it, it can't evaporate because it's completely sealed. Not unlike when you're cooking beans on top of the stove, you see the steam coming out and the liquid is evaporating and your beans scorch. They're not going to scorch in the instant pot. The liquid's not going to evaporate and all the flavor just intensifies. That's what I love about the Instant Pot. Okay, y'all. Now I got to get a little piece of that. There's Salt Joe there with it. Come here. There we go. Got to have a little of that on there. This thing is steaming hot, y'all. There we go. That's a good bite. Look at this here, y'all. Keep going in. Mm. Mm. Perfectly seasoned. Mmm. You know the salt bacon. Probably it's salty. And I add a little of that chicken bag. That's all the seasoning you need. I ain't have to add no salt and pepper. No nothing. One thing I need with this is some hot sauce and some cornbread. That's all I need later. Just got that creamy. See how I made the creamy? creaminess in there. See that? I have to add no roux, no nothing. A little another bite here for y'all. It's an easy supper to make. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Good eating. Bowl of beans and cornbread. Mini night. Growing up, that's what my mama put on the table. I ain't saying to say it. I ain't always been like I tell people, you see my you see my glory, but you don't know my story. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. So anyway, y'all, a little quick video. How to make a quick meal in the middle of the week, y'all. <laughs> All you need some beans, a couple of, put some onions in there, piece of side meat, and you got a meal. So anyway, let me close the video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my little social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and TikTok. And OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023. Just show some kindness. Old School Soul Food. Till next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.